And now, it's time to continue on to the second part of the creation of trains. To begin with, we'll see if the trains meet the various standards in the quality assurance inspection. But who will be in charge? I'm Keisuke Maeda of the Rolling Stock QA department. I'm looking forward to explaining to you all about the train's inspection tests today. Thank you for coming. This is quality assurance expert, Mr. Keisuke Maeda. He claims that his expertise is in deconstructing machines, but not so much putting them back together. Okay then, Mr. Maeda, please tell us what kind of tests take place here. The completed trains are transported here one by one and will be tested individually. This machine, called a load cell, is used for taking measurements. It measures the weight of the entire train and it also weighs each of the four wheels separately in order to adjust the balance. Next, we have to measure the train's dimensions to see whether they are within the regulated limits. The trains then go on to the turntable for the curve test. This is to check if there are any problems with the cables or the push car when they are twisted. Here's a question. Does anyone know what kind of test happens here? Here's a hint. We hope you brought an umbrella. Which can only mean the answer is the waterproof test. With this inspection, you can find out whether there are any leaks inside the train. It drains water, which is equivalent to a heavy 150 millimeter precipitation per hour and the train becomes completely drenched in the blink of an eye. Inside the car, the staff carefully checks for water leaks. They check the cracks of the doors and windows, of course, and even check in parts that we normally can't see, so that not a single drop of leaking water goes overlooked. This car's waterproof test is complete. There were no leaks whatsoever. Now that it passed the inspection, we can go on to the next part of the process. What we have next is this train garage. But what's that sound? It sounds like some kind of metallic clanking. Oh no, they're banging on a brand new train car with those hammers. Mr. Maeda, what in the world is going on here? This is to make sure that the bolts are fastened. If you hit the bolt with a hammer and it makes a different sound, it means it's loose. Whoops, excuse me. So, it seems like they have been using this method for a long time. By the way, this is the sound of a properly tightened bolt. And this is the sound of a loose bolt. A true quality assurance professional won't let a single loose bolt go overlooked. Also, the workers conduct a thorough visual check. They mark every problem they notice with a slip of paper. With three people performing the check, not a single flaw, no matter how small, goes unnoticed. After this, the car power switches on, and the train has the commissioning test. If it passes the test, then it finally embarks toward the final test. Now let's go see the train in action. Nishikaratsu bound train, here we go! During this trial run, the train moves at 20 kilometers per hour on the factory grounds. Here the train is inspected one last time for proper acceleration, brakes, or for any unusual noises. Wow, this is a pretty fun test, isn't it? Oh, is it already the last stop? Once the running test ends, 
the tests are all finally complete. What did everybody think? The train passed the running test and the final inspection. After this, we can finally start shipping the trains out. It certainly was a smooth ride, wasn't it? And now, I'll switch it over to Mr. Suketomo from Hitachi Transport Systems Limited. And with that, it's finally time to set off. We now have Mr. Suketomo to answer our questions. Hello, I'm Hisashi Suketomo from Hitachi Transport System Limited, Kasato Service Office. From me, you'll learn about the transportation of the trains. Mr. Suketomo is an expert in transportation after seven years of continuous service with Hitachi. He loves to travel in his free time, so he's always on the go. The trains from Kasada Works are carried by marine or land transportation. The trains that are carried by marine transport are first moved to the factory's piers, and then they get loaded onto boats by crane. Meanwhile, trains that are transported by land are carried by locomotives. Coupling completed. But where on earth are these trains being taken to? Have a look over here. Casado work trails continue to Sanyo Line Station. I see. Trains that are carried by land are first moved to Kudamatsu Station, which is the nearest station from the factory. From there, they're transported across the nation on these tracks. But won't that throw off the train schedule at this hour? Not at all. Transportation schedules are fixed a year in advance, so problems are generally unheard of. Huh. That's amazing that the schedules are coordinated so far ahead of time. From this point on, the quality assurance supervisors and wiring and electricity experts will board the train. Huh? What about you, Mr. Suketomo? I'm heading there by bicycle. A traveler indeed. He's practically weightless on the wheels. And now, we'll temporarily part with Mr. Suketomo, and the train will leave the factory where it was kept for the last few months. A train stops in front of us, 500 meters from the station. From this point on, a Japan Freight Railway Company's freight engine will take over, and will finally say our farewell to the train. But hold on a second. Here comes Mr. Suketomo. I hope that the train we manufactured here at Kasato Works serves our customers safely. As Mr. Suketomo watches over, the freight engine is almost ready to take off. And so, another train sets off on a journey. But there's no time to relax when there's always more work to be done. Every year, hundreds of trains are shipped to all around the world from where we stand in Kasada. As a comprehensive railway system integrator, Hitachi provides a wide range of services. Today, there are roughly 1,500 workers performing various tasks. And carrying the workers' hopes and dreams are these trains. Which town will they be sent to next? Perhaps it can be yours. <laughs>